Hey guys, it's Mugaz here. Today we are doing an unboxing video. I'm not going to bury the lead. We're going to jump straight in. Here is the ICS BLE PM2. Now, this is the ICS non blowback version of the Makarov PM2, and it is legendarily quiet and allegedly the Mark 23 killer. So we're not gonna go into all the details of the pistol just yet. Basically right here, we're just gonna open the box and see what comes in the box as standard. So this was sent out to me by ICS through Fire Support here in the UK. So if you wanna pick one up for yourself, you can go to Fire Support and they have them in stock, which is pretty cool. So the box, as you can see, is the standard ICS BLE box with a Black Leopard Eye logo on the bottom. ICS Airsoft PM2 and the model number just here and then a line art of the actual pistol. On top, again, logos for the red borders and this sort of, um, I'm going to say embossed, but it's not embossed, it's shiny, shiny logo. Then we've got a sticker here that says it was tested and the FPS with a 20 gram passes and that was on the 9th of the 8th. And uh, that's who somebody's autograph. That's cool. Uh, all the usual warnings and stuff are on there. There's another nice little logo on the bottom. But anyway, we're not here to look at a box. Let's open this bad boy up. I should note that I have already actually opened this box before. I've had this gun out. I've fired it quite a bit. I just wanted to show what was in the box uh, for you guys. So this is roughly how it came for me. It was wrapped in this bag. I can't remember if the magazine was actually in the pistol or in the box, but either way, you get a magazine in there. So we'll take the pistol out and pop that to one side. We'll come back to that in a minute. The accessories and things you get in here are a 13 round magazine, which is predominantly metal with a plastic feed lip. Uh, it, it holds 13 rounds. You can actually lock the feeder to the bottom to speed load your BBs into there. And when you actually put it into the gun, that is released, the BBs are pushed into the chamber, or into the feed lip. So the, the, the spring, the tension on the spring is pushing the BBs to where they need to be. Uh, you probably shouldn't let it go like that because it might damage the feed lips, but there we go. Next, we have a second muzzle. So. Out of the box, the PM2 comes fit with a standard muzzle. This one has a 14 millimeter counterclockwise thread for the addition of this. So this is the ICS shadow barrel extension. It's basically a, a little suppressor for the Mark 23, which I believe has 14 millimeter counterclockwise and 14 millimeter clockwise threads on there. So you can put it on pretty much anything you want. Also in here are two Allen keys. The first one is actually used to insert the CO2 capsule into the gun. The second one is to adjust the hop up. You also get a tiny little unjamming and cleaning rod, which is always useful. Then the instruction manual, a little quick look at the instructions. Uh, the PM2 Makarov high power airsoft pistol, black leopard eye. So inside, little breakdown on all the parts, where the safety is, how to insert the magazine, how to change the CO2, how to load the magazine, uh, how to shoot, which is useful. And then on the other side, we've got the breakdown and the, the schematics, the parts diagram of the pistol, and all the parts descriptions and basic troubleshooting guide. And it also has uh, the for your safety, if there is CO2 remains in the cartridge, please do not dismount it directly. What this means is if you still have CO2 in your cartridge, don't just undo it because it will squirt out everywhere and get you in the eye. So what you are supposed to do is pull the trigger and hold it and then push the hammer forwards and this will vent the entire CO2 from the cartridge, leaving it safe and sound for you to open up. So. Underneath there is just a little bit of a piece of foam. Put everything back in the box. We'll take a quick look at the rest of it. I'm not actually gonna switch this out because I don't have a screwdriver to hand right now. But yeah, you have to wait for the full review to see it in situ. 
So here we go. This here is the Makarov PM2 non-blowback pistol by ICS. The magazines, as you can see, are the super thin stick magazines that just fit in like that. They've got the heel lock design, like I think the real Makarov has a heel magazine release. But anyway, that looks in there. Uh, the takedown action on the pistol is through the pistol, gr uh, the trigger guard. I haven't ventured into taking it apart yet. We'll do that another time. So yeah, basically, just a quick overview of this pistol without going into too many details. All this is metal, all this is metal. It's, as far as I can tell, this is all one piece. Fire selector or safety is metal. Slide lock is non-functioning. Trigger is metal. Hammer is metal. It's got markings on both sides. This is metal. The muzzle that is on there originally is plastic and also connects to the front side. The front side actually stops the muzzle from spinning or rotating inside. It's held on by a small Phillips head screw. To replace it, you basically undo that screw, put your threaded muzzle device in, and then that locks in place with that screw and the foresight up at the top. The iron sights are, the rear is metal, the front is plastic, unless you've got the suppressor adapter on. Very basic and they're difficult to see in dark and you can't actually see them over the suppressor. This little groove just here is the hop-up adjustment nub. It's a, basically a grub screw, which is what the small Allen key is for. You just put it in there and rotate it. CO2 cartridge is kept underneath this pistol grip. This pistol grip is made out of plastic. It's held in by a flathead screw at the back, so you just undo that. The grip comes off and then inside is a little cavity for the CO2 bulb. There is one in there right now because I'm just test shooting this today as well. So I'm not actually going to open it up because I'll end up with CO2 all over my face, neck and chest, and nobody needs that. So yeah, if you want to see more details about this particular pistol, Stay tuned and wait for the full review, which will be coming very soon. I'll be incorporating a full shooting test with both the suppressor and without, chronographing it and doing the accuracy and all the good stuff you've come to know and expect from my reviews. I'll also be getting out in the field and shooting some people in the face, neck and chest. So hit subscribe to see when that goes live. If you want to pick up a Makarov PM2 for yourself, head over to Fire Support, give it a Google, you'll find the URL. And thank you very much to the guys at ICS for sending this over to me. I'll be sure to uh, get out in the field more than once with this and do some simulated murder, which is always good fun. Anyway, that is all for this unboxing. As always, I'm Magaz. Thanks for watching. And remember, kids, the air may be soft, but our balls are hard.